Questions 99 to 101 in the ASA Green paper. Question 99. So the most important thing to know to answer these series of questions is that you can only add and subtract numbers with the same units. So what we can say therefore is if we're say trying to find the units for B, well B is going to have the same units as V. Now what is V? V is the volume. So Usually we write that as um, meters cubed, but in this instance we are told that the length um, slash distance is going to be represented by L, so M is equal to L. Um, so therefore what we get is that the units for B is L cubed, so therefore the answer is A for 99. Going on we're asked to find the dimensions of A. Now, A has a little bit of a difference. So, A is going to be um, equal, A on V squared is going to be equal to P, as in the units for A on V squared is going to be equal to P, because we're adding P to A on V squared, and we know they have to have the same units. So, what is P? P is the pressure, and pressure is the amount of force over a set area. So area is usually meters squared, but in this case, since we're using m is equal to L, it will be L squared. So equal to A on V squared is going to be um, L cubed squared. So Newtons are equal to mass times acceleration. So what we get is therefore big M times <clears throat> um, so acceleration is going to is equal to meters a second squared, which in this case is going to be equal to L on T squared. So what we get is therefore um, L on sorry L on T squared all divided by L squared is equal to A on L to the power of 6. So from there what we can say is that we have M times L on L squared T squared is equal to A on L6 M on L T squared is equal to A on L6 a is equal to L to the power of 5 M on T squared. So therefore the correct answer for question 100 is B. <clears throat> question 101. So the value of the constant Z could be expressed in terms of the unit. So what we know is that within each bracket the units have to add up. So in this case, for this bracket, the first one, the units are going to be equivalent to pressure, whilst for the second brackets, the units are going to be equivalent to volume. And we're trying to find the value of Z. So what essentially we're saying is that we have the P times V uh, for each respective bracket, the units is equal to Z times T. Now you gotta be careful here because um, T in the original equation represents temperature, but T can also represent time. So we want to distinguish this by um, changing the uh, symbol for T to its actual unit symbol, which is Kelvin. So what we get is P times V is equal to Z times K. So pressure times volume is equal to Z times Kelvin. Now, if we just sub in for the um, respective values, what we get is so pressure is equivalent to um, newtons on area squared. Sorry, just area newtons per uh, divided by area, um, and volume is equal to um, meters cubed, which in this case is um, L to the power of three, and that's equal to Z times K. So what we get is N times L is equal to Z times K. Now, if we know what each of these symbols represent, we can actually condense this a bit. So N times L, 
um, what is that saying? We're essentially saying so n times meter m. So newtons times meters is equal to z times k. Um, newton meters, another um, symbol for that is joules. So essentially what we're saying therefore is that z is equal to joules uh, over k kelvin, which is equal to j times k to the next one, which in this case is d.